Click or fold, click or fold, click or fold, fold. Cole, what? Dude, come on. That's so sick. That is so sick. The 10 9, pure calls. Raise call, squeeze. Oh, we just went on the spot, dude. I feel like this is like the line on fold. I feel like we call eights and fold sevens. So I'm going to try and ping that, but I kind of want to call. See, I'm just wrong. We call every pair. Dang, dude. I thought we just learned that, but maybe we were 40 blinds deep in that one. Okay. Raise call, 9 4 suited. We mostly call, but we do fold some of our most junk suited hands multi way, which we don't fold heads up. We don't always call this heads up. Uh, I think I'm going to fold this multi way. Uh, we don't fold anything, I guess, because they're in late enough position. Really bad start. Very bad start. Three bet. Pure. Yeah. Okay. Well, dang it, dude. Call. Yeah. Rarely raise. Six is raise call. Squeeze on the button. Fold. And call some. Interesting. But I think I'm going to fold in practice with this player behind with the sixes. We fold fives pure. Okay. I think we get the principle there. Jack three suited. Closing the action. We're going to call. Yeah. We like that. Nice. Ace, queen, O. Oh. Gem. I don't like call. Let's go, dude. King 10. Raise call, squeeze, fold. 8-7. Raise call, squeeze in the small blind, fold. I think we're too short to call here. I think it's just a fold. Yes, it is indeed. But we call these pairs, sixes through nines. Fold 8-4 offsuits. Okay. I mean, we started with the two bad answers, and then we nailed it from there. Out of position, post-flop, daily. Raise call, uh, some check, some small bet, I'm guessing, because of stack depth. Checking big bet, but big bet pretty rarely. It's mostly check, 71%, so that's okay. Um, queen 10, 6. I don't like this five blind sizing. Uh, well, we're this deep. We're definitely going to check some, but I like betting as well. Uh, no, we're going to small bet range. Dude, that's tough, man. That is tough. Especially when you think about like how much we miss if we look at our range construction. Like, There's so much stuff that is bad here. The fact that we small bet range is very surprising to me. Raising the button call, they bet. We fold, I think. No, call and raise on ace 10 9 with the bad gutter back to flush draw. Interesting. This quarter sizing really has some different outputs, which makes me want to, first of all, start to deploy a quarter sizing because I think people like me will make some mistakes. Raise call, bet, they raise flop. You think immediately it's fold, but... Um, yeah, probably just fold, but no. Oh, we have such small frequencies here that it's really tough to review what it is that we're supposed to do. Anyways, it's not going well. Race call, queen, jack, six, out of position. I feel like our hand is strong enough to check call here. Indeed not. Pretty much a range bet again. Raise, they three bet we call. Uh, check. No, we three bet in the small blind. They call nine, seven, six. Okay, so we're going to go some check and then some bet here, I think. How often are we going to big bet? Not that often, dude. Probably the default is this and then some check. No. Check always ace check off soon. This is hard, man. This is a hard strategy to deploy. The thinking is some check and some bet small. We specifically want to always check ace jack, but with ace 10... We're half half with ace queen we're half half with ace king we're half half with ace queen so i don't know like that's the thing about this is like we get it 100 percent wrong but the takeaway is like okay we three bet of the small blind they call into the gun we're gonna do some betting and some checking and i think that's a fine approach here in this spot but then the thing that is going to be difficult to implement is do we do some checking some betting with jacks probably not we probably range bet jacks right like so this is where we're we're gonna make an error in our thinking um, but I think this is okay. It's just tilting though, because we our score is going to be so bad on this. Fold. Raise, three bet, call, king, jack, 10, all spades. Uh, difficult spot. Small bet. Range again, dude. This is the one exception, basically. This is the hand we check the most. Damn, dude, that's so sick on the monochrome. Raise, three bet, call, 
bet range small. Thank you, dude. On the ace I board, bet range small. All right. God damn, man. That sucked. Quick question for you, Poker Tables. Jimmy with the GG. What's up, man? When you see a small difference between betting small or big, is that because one is exploitative or is it all theory? Happy New Year. Yeah, it's all theory. So like, and sometimes it's an important distinction and then sometimes it's not. So like if we take, again, a PO solver and like we kind of look at, we look at something. So let's, let's do like, this is a single raise pot, right? So let's go jack deuce deuce. So we're on the button. Uh, and in this spot, we're going to either check or bet and we're gonna bet small. And this is 30 blinds deep, right? So I mean, there's, there's like a 0.03% of the time we bet big, but like the main principle here is that there's not a lot of use in betting big. If we load up a different tree, let's try and get one where it's like gonna be mixed. If we go like a queen, queen nine seven rainbow, maybe this one will have some big betting. Let's see. Yeah, so here we have a mix, right? So here we have check 40% of the time, we're gonna bet small 30% of the time and then bet, bet two thirds 30% of the time. And the reasoning here is that like, you know, let's go hand for hand by hand, right? Um, take a hand like king queen. Like we wanna get lots of money from king queen, so we like betting big, right? Uh, so that's nice. But like if we have a hand like, you know, queen four, for example, like it's not gonna be easy to get a lot of worse hands to continue by betting big with queen four. So it's like a, a spot where like queen four, the hand doesn't wanna bet big, it wants to bet small. But king queen, the good hand wants to bet big because it can get hands like queen six to pay a lot of money. Whereas queen four cannot, it just value owns itself, right? So the solver is basically like taking these considerations into effect and coming up with strategies to where it has bluffs for big sizing and bluffs for small sizing. An example of a big size bluff here is king six, right? It has an over pair, it has an over card that can sometimes catch up with the turn with the king, right? Uh, and it has some backdoor flush draw stuff going on here as well sometimes. Um, so it's bluffing for a big size and it can catch up in the turn, you know, ten, 10 or Jack will give it a straight draw, King will give it a top pair. But then it's also choosing to small bluff with a hand, for example, like Jack six. So Jack six suited is mostly just gonna go for the small bet here because it's such a bad hand. It doesn't have that overcard that it's just gonna bluff small. So it's choosing hands to bluff big with, hands to bluff small with, hands to value bet big with, hands to value bet small with, and then also hands to check that are good and not so good. So it's like, this is a very complex output, you know? And there's professional players, really great players, that actually try and sim simplify the flop to only one sizing. They say, I don't do two sizings in the flop, I choose one sizing and I either bet or check, and when I bet, I bet that sizing. Because some players believe that you can't implement a two sizing strategy on the flop. I try and do a two sizing strategy sometimes on certain boards where I think it makes sense, like this. Um, but of course I screw things up all the time. Like you're seeing me do these these quizzes right now. I'm screwing up tons of stuff. Uh, I'm quite rusty actually doing the quiz. Like I'm not super happy with the score. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, that's that. You talk a lot of waffle. Whatever that means, sure. What does waffle mean, dude? Does position change the betting size? Position changes the ranges, right? So this is button versus big blind on a queen nine seven, okay? Let's try and find an, like an under the gun versus big blind. Cause that'll be interesting, right? Like the big blind is this range and then this is the button range, right? What happens if we're under the gun on a queen nine seven rainbow? Let's see if we can find it. Load tree, Sims. So early position versus big blind. 30 BB deep. So I have EP2 versus big blind. That's close enough. And it was queen nine seven, right? We have queen nine deuce. We can go queen eight six. That's close enough, right? Queen eight six, spade, heart, diamond, rainbow. It's pretty close. So let's see how things change here, right? And now all of a sudden we do more big betting and we do almost no checking, right? So we went from checking 30% of our hands button versus big blind to now when we're under the gun against the big blind, we're betting all of our hands and mostly betting big. So like why? Well, the difference between this opening range and the button's opening range, right? We had a bunch of this other junk on the button, whereas in early position, we are, we just have a stronger range in general. You know, the big blind's range is basically the same. Not a lot changes. But our under the gun range is stronger and therefore we don't have to check as much. So that's kind of, you know, and you, like, I don't have this perfect, right? It's not like, I'm not hitting this big bet more than small bet perfect or anything like that, but it's understanding the principle that 
our range is stronger. Therefore, we're much more likely to bet in early position than we do in late position. You know, like that's a really easy takeaway is the earlier position you are at the table, the stronger your range is. And therefore, the more likely it is you are you're going to be to bet on the flop. You know, you're going to do much more check, check button versus big blind than you are under the gun versus big blind. So, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Next, another out of position post flop. Here we go. Raise, call, flop is bet, raise. We have the backdoor king high spade. We call. We are going to raise or fold. Oh, dude, so sick. So sick. Oh, my goodness, man. So sick. All right, next. I mean, I get that principle, the king of spades, but. Raise three bet call, 10 8 three flop. I think mostly bet is dry enough here, probably. Uh, some of our three betting interacts with this 10 as well. Yeah, I think mostly we're going to bet here. I'm going to go on the small side. 100% check with the king six. Oh, dude. What a nightmare. All right, what's overall strategy here? Bet 40% of range. We bet half of range. We check half of range. Uh, I thought the board was going to be dry enough. We'd bet more of our range than that. Um, it's all just mix up here, and then we're just straight up check folding bottom of range here. Raise, call, bet, raise. Seven, five, four. We just had the spot, but the thing is, this time we have two over cards and the second enough flush draw. We call, I think. We could fast play, but it seems like a disaster. I think call is the one. It's giving us two options. No way we just fold here, right? Yeah, okay. Call or raise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. The frequencies are unfortunately so low that we can't get to see. Uh, raise on the button, call, fold. Okay. Queen four. Check, check. Eight, seven, five. Uh, check. Yeah. Mostly check out of position. Okay. All right. Raise, call, bet, they raise to 5.6. We call with the pair. Next, king, queen. Raise under the gun, call, pre-flop. We check in the small blind. We don't lead here ever. That's good. Raise, three bet, call, 9.75. Some check, some bet. A little bit of both. I'm going to start with a bet, though. Yeah, more betting than checking, right? Raise, call, bet, raise, fold. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're not doing too bad here. Raise, call, bet, raise, <laughs> click or fold. <laughs> click or fold, click or fold, click or fold, fold. Call, what? Dude, come on, that's so sick. That is so sick. The 10-9, pure calls. I don't think we want to raise here. I think call, we're going to have to, but more call is better. Six is raise, three bet. From the small blind, we call. They bet flop four and a half. We, wow. I wonder if we're ever going to fast play here. We probably do, actually, <laughs> because they have a lot of their range that has missed. Uh, both are okay, but I feel like jamming might actually be default here. 22 blinds in the middle. Yeah, I think it's going to be jam and call. It is both. We, we call a little bit more, but we do fast play with sixes here some. Raise. Call, check, check, and bet some, but yeah. Cool. All right, we did well there. Let's go. We got 78. Not ideal, dude. Not ideal. This is on pro difficulty as well, pro pro difficulty level. But our rating has decreased from the last time we finished it, unfortunately. 27th, 23rd percentile. Could be better. Uh, I got to do some work here on the paired. But like I said, feeling a little sloppy, dude. The thing is, I think if we do this, you know, if we do paired, even like once a week for the next month, I'm pretty sure this 78 is going to become like an 81. And then, you know, we're going to be right here, 81 or 82. It's it's not going to be hard to increase that number. And just a few flop, sloppy mistakes. Out of position post-flop, so tough, man. 